guys, it's me, Jordan, here at Pisces Pet Emporium, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Jackson Chameleon. Alright, so the Jackson uh, Chameleon originates from uh, Tanzania and Kenya uh, in East Africa. Uh, these guys live in cool, humid environments, uh, heavily forested mountain slopes uh, with lots of rainfall. Now, uh, there are a difference between males and females. Males will grow to 14 inches, females slightly smaller. Males will uh, exhibit the three horns on their face, although females are known not to have any. Some show one small horn on the nose. Uh, these chameleons have very similar to care to other chameleons. They're one of my favorite looking though. Uh, I mean, they have horns, right? What's not cool about that? Uh, so just in a sec here, I'll go over the care for them. So uh, if you're getting a chameleon that's growing over 14 inches, it's important to have a proper sized terrarium. Now chameleons don't necessarily understand glass, so you want to get a mesh terrarium for your chameleon. Uh, the smaller you get, the smaller terrarium you need. As they grow, you want to increase uh, their tank. So right here I just have a Reptibreeze medium. Uh, we do carry a variety of sizes all the way up to extra large. I just have this here uh, for an example. Uh, this would be a great size for the chameleon I just showed you guys here in the video. Uh, for now, until he gets a little bit bigger, he was exhibiting the three horns, therefore he is a male. Um, a cool thing about these chameleons is that versus the normal five-year lifespan, these guys can live nine years, which I think is actually a really cool fact. Um, so I said they were from heresy forested areas. Uh, a lot of artificial or real plants are important. Um, so right here I have two different kinds of lamps uh, and two different types of lights. We need a Baskin light and a UVB light. Uh, some studies show that chameleons actually um, regulate both UVB and temperature differently. So it's important to get two separate bulbs versus a combo bulb. Um, so about basking temperature, you want to reach 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, ambient temperature, about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you want to make sure that your UVB lighting is at least 10 to 12 inches. Uh, so probably place it right on top of the terrarium to make sure that he's getting the proper radiation. Um, so they are insectivore, meaning that they only eat insects. Uh, crickets are a great diet, as well as worms. Worms you want to feed occasionally. They're a little bit more fatty. Uh, a cool way to feed them worms, since they're always up in the trees, is to put them in a little dish, put a hole in it, tie it to a vine, there you go, they'll find the worm. Supplements are important. I have two supplements down here. I have the gut load. Uh, it's kind of important to make sure that the bugs you are feeding to your uh, reptile at least have some nutrition to them. Uh, so this is a gel mix you can make for your crickets and your worms, and they will love to eat it. Um, another thing I have is calcium. Uh, now supplementing can always be debatable, but I recommend that you at least calcium supplement, um, you know, twice a week uh, when feeding your chameleon. These guys will eat daily if they are nice and happy. You're looking for nice bright colors and that shows they're not stressed out in their environment. Um, another thing is humidity. Humidity is very important. Uh, humidity you want about 50 to 80 percent. Um, right here I have a mister. It's a pressure mister, uh, which is way easier than having to constantly mist with a normal mister. Um, and then substrate. It depends on you. You can use newspaper as long as you're keeping the humidity up. Um, my recommendations are, um, I like the natural look uh, to making a terrarium, so moss, uh, soil, cocoa husk, combination of them all. Personally, I like the look, I like the smell, and it helps keep humidity. Um, I was talking a little bit about live plants. Uh, you can go to uh, your garden store or come here, and we actually have lots of plants uh, for sale. Um, and then you can, as long as you have your UVB light, the plants will stay alive. And one thing to remember guys with all your reptiles is you always want to monitor your temperature and your humidity using a thermometer and a hygrometer. That stuff's really important. Right now here at Pisces we actually have several chameleon species available. We have carpets, we have panthers, albino panthers, finchers, and giant mountain horn chameleons. That's a lot. Uh, so I can't always cover all the information needed. Always look online, always read some books, get all your information needed to keep your reptile. I'm Jordan here at Pisces Pet Emporium and I hope you enjoyed my video. A supermarket for your pet